Hello everybody, um, so another quick demo of something I've been working on, as you could see in my last video, which didn't, which YouTube seemed to have eaten, but in case you got to watch it, I'm working on the beginnings of a, um, plane sort of thing that's going to be powered completely by Arduinos and by Visual, Visual Basic, so... This is sort of the prototype machine that I've got so far. There's a LED up here. There's servo, servo with the zip ties on them to show essentially what angle they're pointing. And this can simulate, like the LED would simulate the PWM value that would control the uh, ESC and the servos would simulate steering servos. So there's an LCD right here that I've been using for debugging. This is a clone mega Arduino Mega, but I'm not using any of the Mega features. I just needed it because I've got my other Arduino over there. Oh, let's see it. The other Arduino is I'm using as a programmer for tiny AVR stuff. But um, so this is just a demo. I'm gonna do a write up. The write up will be in the description on my blog. But um, essentially, this program turns serial read, which is an Arduino command, into like usable actual strings that can be separated and written to stuff and compared to stuff instead of just going byte by byte. And it uses it, it does that by loops and turning stuff into packages and character collections, but more of that will be in the description. And the, as you can see, the program's pretty well commented, but um, essentially this needs to, oh, well I'll just show you, so right here I've got the um, just a tiny little VB program that's running, I don't know, I'll pull up the code and um, so all it does is it writes the stuff in the text box, puts a comma in between the two values and a period at the end and sends it to the Arduino. So that's the syntax I've been working with so essentially this program can get a value, tell how many pieces of data are there by the number of commas, and it can um, write that value and that tells the end of a package by a period. So I'll do the left servo position 100 and the right servo position 100. As you can see, it's written like that right now, but I'll change that. I'll go, let's go 180 for the left. Zero for the right, and I'll send. And as you can see, they both moved. The servers are inverted, so you can see it's written like that. So they're both facing the same direction. But if I wanted them to make them face the opposite direction, I'll just type that really quick. There we go. So you can see this one didn't move, and this one moved all the way. So I'll show. I'll just show you again. I'll write them both to 50, so they will be a little bit offset, but because it's not a perfect inversion. So, grab my mouse, bring it over here, so you can sort of see it all happen at once. So here we go. There you go. Um, and the LCD shows the positions of the two servos, and I'm actually pretty proud of this. This was a lot of new stuff for me. It's definitely, the Arduino program is definitely most, my most sophisticated program I've ever written with the language and I'm pretty proud of it. But the hardware configuration is pretty basic, the LCD is pretty basic. I mean eventually when this is in its final form it'll all be PCB, it'll all be nice and nice and um, like finalized I guess. Very little room for error like wiggly LEDs or bad resistors. And the control over here is still it's in its prototype phase. The problem that I can't write directly from one to the other is that like it's too quick. The the speed I found is too fast writing to reading. So the second Arduino always gets confused because that's to do kind of a lot of math and a lot of loop stuff to be able to make it clean data. So I'm thinking about slowing it down, but that would lose precision in the air. So it's whatever. But um, if you have any questions, leave them on the blog. I typically don't check comments on YouTube, but whatever. Um, 
I'll include the source for the Arduino program, and I'll include the nicer version of the Arduino program too, all on the blog. But no VB stuff yet, because it's still really, really bad. It's like really not neat at all, really unoptimized. But whatever. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.